how to know when to buy, when to sell? This is a question that I get to ask by uh, asked by so many people also, and I understand they can be beginners, familiar traders, or people who have been trying to enter the market and the market reverse on them. This question, it can be answered by so many ways. It all depends with whatever uh, uh, works for you. So I have come to realize that uh, so many people are using different things. And I will not say that uh, my, my way of doing trading is the best, but at least if you can try what I will teach you from this video, you'll be able to understand the concept, be, 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 the concept behind buying and selling. So buying and selling, you need to understand that whenever the market is on an uptrend, and an uptrend we mean when the market is on an up, we tend to see uh, this move of buying. But understand that you can buy at this level. And I know this has happened for so many people. You can buy at that level, but the market just retraces a little bit. And as it is retracing, you're disappointed and you're thinking, why, why do I keep losing? And the market was just doing a retracement just to buy without you. So you have lost your money. You are, you are frustrated. You're thinking, why did I buy and the market retraced on you? Or there are people who even bought at this um, at this area, but still the market continued to drop. But for me, I've come to realize the market to go up is if it has a pattern. So I know there are so many ways for people to buy or sell, but at least listen to this video and maybe you can get something from it. Uh, other people will teach you that the trend is your friend. So other people will tell you, if you just sell immediately or look for sell opportunity. The thing is, whenever you see the market is on a downtrend, the market makers are waiting for people to enter sell and immediately often do a deep retracement and lost the money. So the question is, uh, first, you understand where will I buy, when to buy, when to sell, and also understand the chances for you to be in that trade because I understand many people want to trade from Monday to Friday, which is very impossible. The chart sometimes it moves two days in a week. So other days is either it is ranging or it is just manipulation and they are just accumulating so much liquidity so that anyone who has placed their trade, the, the market will reverse on them and they will lose money. So in, in this video, I just want to tell you, like for instance, uh, if at all you are trading, if if you are trading and this is your pair, let's say you come and open a GBP because the market is on an uptrend. And the reason why I stopped using trend line is because I, for me, it didn't work. If it for you it is working, you you go ahead and use it. But for me, trend line never worked. So I used to put trend line like that. And because I knew that on an uptrend, the market, but you can see what is happening with that trade. The accumulation is what is happening. So the market makers know majority of it right now. We will first range as you observe the behavior of retail trader. So majority of time you will see the market will range. And the reason why it is ranging is because both buyers and sellers, they, they are like on a wall. Oh, this market is going to buy. And the trend line traders are saying, oh, this market is going to sell. So anyone who is waiting outside, they will be waiting for that makers they know majority to go up or the trend trend traders are waiting for them the trend to go down uh the, the trend to break and go down for me i've come to realize whenever you have this case study majority of the time the first place where the market breaks is the false uh direction it doesn't go that way it's just for trapping people but i think at that time when you see that nothing matters you just want to enter the market so if i play this you can see the trend line was broken and majority of traders they can trade like that they will get into short position and maybe they will target that area the problem is majority of people when the trend line breaks they will start now again waiting for the market to do retracement so you can see many people don't even know what they want to do there are those who are waiting for the trend line to break there are those who are waiting for the box to break there are those now waiting for the uh for the retracement to happen and you can see the market continues uh it continues for two days for the market to hit that area so that they can start uh, to enter the trade and the market leaves them. So this person, first of all, they are so frustrated. They have been left by the market. And again, they come here, they put here, they say, now I will wait for the market to retrace here so that I can continue selling. And anyone who now is coming at this trade and they don't understand the story behind them, they have put the trend line and they already understand that this market is a sell. And majority of them, they don't understand what is happening. So there is a category of traders who are waiting for the market to retrace. There are those who have entered sale and there are those who are not doing anything. In fact, 
majority of traders in such a case, they are selling. They are selling. And you cannot understand that market it has accumulated. Now it's manipulating on the other side. But guys, I always say, anytime you will ever see an uptrend, and this is something I want to show you, when to buy, when to sell. If you ever want to buy a market, spot an uptrend. So once you spot an uptrend, come and spot any side. The double bottoms are safe to trade on an uptrend market. And that's why I say a double bottom on an uptrend market is more accurate than a double bottom on a downtrend market. Because double bottoms comes to do what? Double bottoms comes to make the market go up. So if they are supporting your, they are supporting your direction. So if you spot a market going up, just wait for the activation of that double bottom. And sometimes it may fail to it activate a hidden double bottom on four hour. Again, take on that because majority of people will be, oh, it didn't. It's because it activated a double bottom that you're not able to see. Okay. So that one, you have to be mindful. You have to be like, you have to put it in consideration that by the way, they can activate a double bottom that is on another time frame. So wait for the market to activate double bottom and then come and use WBD strategy. You see now, when now you're doing this, you're planning your trade, you will not be disappointed. Once you use WBD strategy, you, so if this was our trade, we could have done the same. We could have done the same. What could we have done? The market trend. And you can see they have left a very big space for us not to understand what is happening. So they have left this space. So the market was just ranging. Is to start telling people now it's time to sell. So there are so many people will be trapped on this sell. So what they will do, they will come and activate this double bottom. And you can see that double bottom is almost being activated. And once, if you want to know that that double bottom is powerful, it's supposed to be, it's not supposed to be seen on the weekly. Can you see, we are not seeing it on the weekly. So once that happens, once that happens, what do you think the market will do? The market will try to activate that double bottom and majority of people don't understand. They think the market has changed and their trend line broke and retested. Because that trend line broke, the market is coming here to activate that trend line. So majority of people will have put their orders in this area. Those who are using box will use will be using that. But let me tell you, all those strategies sometimes, they may work, they may not work. But what I have found uh, consistent is the pattern, the double bottom. So I will just come here and put a box and I'll be like, let me wait for the market to break that box so that I can enter. And you can see the struggle of the market to break that double bottom. And once the market is breaking the double bottom, remember, majority of people have, they're thinking, oh, this is an, a downtrend. The market has changed. Oh, you can see how sellers are in control. So at the end of the day, there are so many trades because they had sold around here. Or you can buy up to here and you're done with that trade. And you can see the reason why the market now it is sound, it seems like it wants to go down is because of those orders, the sell orders that people have activated. So I don't want you to be trading like this because if you trade like that, you will always be on a drawdown. So this market, you can see, and they don't understand that the market will come and 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 continue to buy. So I don't want you to be uh to be caught on a trade just because you don't know how to go about it. So for, for those who want now to sell. Just go. And once you check the downtrend, I want you to look for what? Once you top. So double top, they work very well. So I want us to look for a downtrend. So we will be looking for a downtrend. Uh, let me look for one. So let's try to look for any downtrend like here. So this is a market. You can see. This market is a downtrend. Very, It was so clear trade. It is a downtrend. And majority of people have started to buy. You can see this is a push of people just buying. And majority of people think this is a retracement. The market will come to retrace here. So majority of people have put orders there. That's why you're seeing the market selling. But this one is not guaranteed. When you put your orders and you don't know why you're putting orders, oh, I want the market to continue to sell because it's, an it's a downtrend, that one doesn't hold more water. So the one that is good is you come and say, if you want me to sell, Activate that double bottom and give me a uh, and give me a what? Give me a, a, a an entry a WBB. So your double bottom is activated and now you're waiting for WBB. And you can see WBB means you wait for the red candle. If it's not engulfing, you put a box. The reason why I'm saying how to when to buy when to sell. If you use these patterns, there's no way you cannot make it in forex. How how will you not make it? And you wait for the market to break. And you can see once the market broke, 
the sellers took over. So this trade, your entry was here. It is still ranged, but the market kept going down. It's because the market is on a downtrend, number one, and now you have a reason to enter that trade. And this double top, make sure it's off T. So that is the way I can tell you when to buy, when to sell. Let me recap. Anytime you want to buy, look for uptrend. And then on that uptrend, try to look for a double bottom. Uptrend, try to look for a double bottom. Anytime you want to sell, look for downtrend and then look for a double bottom. That is it, guys. I uh, If you want to sell, downtrend, double top. If you want to buy uptrend, double bottom. That is it, guys, on this video. I hope you have really enjoyed. I want to remind you that I do not uh, sell any Bitcoins. I don't trade on behalf. Avoid scammers who are all over in the internet, Telegram, WhatsApp, everywhere trying to scam you people. Just be careful. That is a disclaimer. I don't want someone to lose their money just because they have they they think it is me. I will never WhatsApp you or text you if you have not texted me back. These people, they will text you, say, how is your trading going on? I will trade for you. I have this program. That is not me. Those are scammers, okay? So my offers, I want to show you my offers. I have three offers. Number one of the offer is the class of excellence that is happening on October date 14th. And I'm excited because I have four, three international students who are coming to this class and I'm very, very excited. It will be starting on 14th of October and it is called class of excellence. I believe that you will have the spirit of Daniel. In fact, that's what we are releasing in that class and in the month of October. May you receive the spirit of Daniel. And if you don't know who Daniel is, go and read your Bible. You will find so amazing things about Daniel. The other offer is the recorded course that I charge $1,000, 12 module, 40 videos plus. So the, the, the number is on the, on the flyer so in the poster so you can pause and take the number. And the other offer is the Zoom Forex Trading Webinar for international students or anyone who would want a one month mentorship, I am charging $1,500. So for this one, you have to start registering because it will start on 20th October. And I will start with, even if it's one person who will pay. For me, it's not about the money. It's not about the crowd. It's about that one person who will who will want more mentorship or more guidance, more help. The best thing with this Zoom trading webinar, we do it every Sunday and every Tuesday, and they watch me trade live. This is where you will see me trade live, and I will give you even live examples. And sometimes students are making money in these webinars. So it's a good place to, to trade with your mentor. So if you are thinking of, uh, gaining a skill is just 1500 If you think it's a lot, you watch my videos for free. I am always here at 3 p.m. for free, posting videos every day to help you gain knowledge, to help you, because I want to look back five years from now and I say, oh my goodness, I have really helped thousands and thousands of people. You may not even tell me that you have made your first $100 by bad double bottom by OPT. You may never even tell me, but God will always remember. The Bible says that if you're kind to the if you're kind to the people, you are lending to God. If you're kind to the poor, you're lending to God. If you're kind to your neighbor, that kindness you're lending to God. So for me, it's more about God and more about my calling. Okay, guys. All the best. See you in the next one. Bye bye. Love you guys.